Hi, I'm Senator Nancy Jacobs. I represent Harford and Cecil County. You know, it's, it's quite an honor to me when a state agency comes to me when there's 46 other senators and asks me to put a bill in based on something that I've done before. And a lot of them do that with um, bills pertaining to children because they know that that's an area I feel very strongly about. And a couple of years ago, um, I, they came to me and they said, you know, there's, there's a big problem with parents who have severely disabled children and yet they, they don't have the resources to give them the proper care. And they are forced to leave them in a hospital, to walk away from their child in order for that child to get the medical care that he or she needs. And this is happening, was happening all too frequently in Maryland. Parents, it killed parents to do this. Because then they became, they got on a list that said that basically that they were negligent parents. And they had to, you know, the state had to take over the raising of their child. And they didn't do this because they wanted to do it. They did it because they knew that that was the only way their child would get the proper medical services that they needed. And so with that was a big problem. And so what we did was we passed a law that said a parent could voluntarily give up custody of their child and the state would take over the medical care of that child. And it did not put the parent on any list. The parent still had every opportunity to be with their child. And it works. It was a, it was a really um, difficult hearing because we had parents coming in who had to relinquish custody of their children because it was the only way they could get them help. And then they were put on this list and they couldn't see their kids. I mean, can you imagine having your child in a hospital needing care and they're telling you, we're sorry, you're gonna to have to take him home because you can't afford the care. You're gonna to have to take him home. And the only thing you can do is to leave your child there in that facility and give up your rights as a parent. You shouldn't be penalized for having to do that. You shouldn't be penalized because you don't have the resources, to, the financial resources, to take care of a severely disabled child. And through this legislation, we fixed that. And I was really, really proud of that. I was proud of the fact that people come to me to do those pieces of legislation to try and help families and children.